Hello everybody, this is my solar powered RV fridge. I've taken out the original RV fridge, which was much larger. So I had to put a couple pieces of wood down the side. And I also used some old material I had laying around to build this nice little pantry above the fridge, which I really like, comes in handy. It doesn't look perfect right now, but it's a work in progress. It'll look pretty good down the road. I actually want to get another refrigerator. They got one almost like this at Lowe's that will but it's wider. It's the same height, but it's wider. And it even has a lock on the top. I really want to get that one eventually, $200 fridge. But anyway, what I'm using to power this fridge is 300 watts of solar. And it's running into this charge controller with the voltage meter, which is pretty low right now. It's only 8.30 in the morning and kind of cloudy. And I'm running it to a single battery that I actually have room for behind the fridge. Now what I'd like to do is go with two six volt batteries because right now I have to shut this fridge off at 11 at night and then turn it back on in the morning. It keeps everything cold and everything but I'd like to have the two six volts so I could run it all night no problem. What I'm also doing is I'm having to uh, I just turn it on full blast because I notice when I use the thermostat every time it kicks on it drains the battery a lot because the compressor is kicking on. I've seen the way to solve that, though, is by using a condenser, like for a car stereo that stores power. So I'm going to use one of those. I've seen another guy do it on YouTube. And then I can use my thermostat, and it won't pull that heavy draw on my battery because it'll pull it out of that condenser. So I got the 300 watts of solar running there to a battery behind the fridge. And underneath the fridge, I'll show you in a minute, I have a little inverter, 600-watt inverter, made by this company, well, this is what it looks like. It's called Best Tech is the name of the company, B-E-S-T-E-K. This inverter was only 60 bucks. I've had a couple of these, and these are the best inverters I can find. And for the money, they're real good. It'll run all the way down to 10 volts. So what I did was I mounted it directly under the fridge here where the original, where the, that's the charger that charges the batteries when you're plugged in. There's plenty of room here, so I mounted it right there. The cord on the right goes to the fridge. The cord on the left, I spliced into my RV power. So I have 120 volt power throughout my whole RV. And it's all on a separate system, which is great. Because I have another 300 watts of solar going directly to my RV batteries. So even if this fridge runs down my battery that runs it, I still got power for everything else. And I'm really liking that. So anyway, that's all for today. Maybe a little bit later today, make another video about my solar. I'm going to get up on the roof and do it. So uh, anyway, any questions or comments, let me know. Talk to you later. Bye.